Today, I'm opening up a $250 Toy USA High Roller Funko Pop Mystery Box. I'm excited about this. I like the expensive boxes. They're a huge risk, they're a gamble, but the more money you pay for mystery boxes, the better possibilities, the better chance you have of getting higher price point grails out though. So these are fun, but they're a risk. But before we jump into this $250 box, you know what we gotta do? I'm the king of the appetizer. We gotta warm this video up first. So what I grabbed today was a $19 shipped mystery grail Funko Pop Mystery Box from the company at mysterygrail.com. They sell these every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time at mysterygrail.com. This is a sister company of 7 pop.com. So with this, you get one pop. No guaranteed value, you're just guaranteed one pop. It could be a common worth six bucks, it could be a chase worth 30, it could be an exclusive worth 20, it could just be just a random specialty series worth $12, or you could get out a grail worth 50, 100, 200. Slim, but it can happen. So you get one pop, a piece of candy, and then a scratch off card. You can win bonus free stuff like some tokens to trade in for other prizes. You can win free pop shield pop protectors for sendbugspop.com. But here we go. Did I hit a grail? Did I get the grail? Not a grail, not a grail. We have Peter Pettigrew from Harry Potter. I'm not too familiar with Peter Pettigrew. I've only seen like the first three Harry Potter movies. I kind of watched them, I, you know, I was doing other stuff while they were on. Um, they, I don't really know much about the Harry Potter series. I just know the main characters like Harry and, the, and then like the Weasleys and then uh, the Voldemort. Yeah, so I don't really know these characters. This might be a good character. I'm not sure who he is. But I'm not a big Harry Potter fan. But actually, we're going to look up PPG value. Kind of gauge what this might be worth. And a PPG value, it is nine bucks. So I lost money on the pop. So I got, we got a sucker. And then here we go with the scratch off card. I see the 200 popping out just a little bit. So I got 200 bonus tokens. So I can use those, cash those tokens in eventually. Right now I have over 15,000 tokens saved up. And I'm at the point right now where I can actually get a pop worth like over 100 bucks in value. But there's the appetizer, I lost money. Hopefully I lose it on that one and not on this one because let's actually let's talk about this box. So this was the Toy USA $250 high roller mystery box that went on sale September 9th, 2021. It shipped out on September 13th, 2021. I purchased box number two. There was a total of 20 boxes. Each box has four Funko Pops. You get one pop from the picture provided and then three additional pops. So the picture provided, I'm gonna tell you the top five hits are the original Beefs and Butthead, they're long vaulted. The green Scooby-Doo that's like out of like a thousand pieces, I think. The glow Marty McFly and then the original Sloth. Those are the five big hits. Those all come in heart stacks. Out of all 20 pops, only five are in heart stacks. So you get a heart stack, you won. No heart stack, you lost, okay? So it says five boxes are valued between 150 and 200. You, the guaranteed value is only 150, so you can lose 100 bucks a box. 10 boxes are valued between 200 and 250. Three boxes are between 250 and 400. Two boxes are $500 plus. So there's only five boxes out of 20 were 250 or more. So only five boxes, you'll get your money back if not more. Another 15, you're gonna lose some money. So you have a 25% chance of winning, a 75% chance of losing money. So this is, a, this, this is kind of a higher risk mystery box. And they're all conditioned to 7 out of 10 or better. So nothing should be damaged. Some could have some small flaws on them. Because Toya say they, they buy out collections. And obviously older pops can have some damage on them. I too buy out collections. If you have a pop collection you would like to sell. Feel free to reach out to me through email. My email is down below in the description box to this video. Reach out to me and maybe I'll buy your collection from you. But yeah, if, if you just want to move your collection, if you want to sell it, get rid of it, in one fail swoop, just be done with it, reach out to me. I do buy collections. Also, if you want to sell 
comic book collection, sports card collection. I especially am looking for Michael Jordan sports card collections. Because I collect Jordan stuff. So I would like that collection I actually would buy just to keep it. Or I keep the ones that I actually want for my own collection. But uh, yeah, reach out to me if you have anything, anything to sell. I actually bought out some Pokemon card collections before. That takes me some research to figure out. Because I don't know much about Pokemon, but reach out. Anyway, here we go. Sealed box, Toy USA. If I reach in, if I feel a hard stack, I won. I'm going to make money. No hard stack, you automatically know you lost. You're losing money. So, here we go. Come on, hard stack. Please be a hard stack. Come on. Here goes nothing. You ready? Come on, hard stack. Oh, there's no hard stack. I have one that's in a pop protector. I lost. I lost. So now we're just trying to not lose much money. Hopefully I don't lose much more than like 50 bucks, like 20%. But if there's no hard stack, you know right off the bat, you're going to lose money, which really stinks. But here we go. First pop. The back says Jurassic Park. We've got Dr. Alan Grant, Jurassic Park, 25th anniversary, it says. This came out in 2018, Dr. Alan Grant. I actually might hold on to this one. Uh, the actor who plays Alan Grant, I would love to get this one autographed. I'd love to get that thing signed. Might hold on to that one. Might have to. Here we go, pop number two. The back says Freddy Funko. We got a Freddy Funko holding a fish 2019 eccc shared sticker freddy funko funko holding a fish i have no clue what the significance of that is what it's supposed to be freddy we'll let's call it freddy fish boy how's that sound freddy fish boy makes sense to me here we go number three we got snow white and seven doors we got the witch I think this one's vaulted. I've had this thing for a long time. This is a 2017. Yeah, but this thing's vaulted. Okay. I actually have no idea value-wise of these three pops. I can't even gauge. You know, if it's if these three worth like 75, 80, I, I don't even... I, I, I can't even gauge how much those might be worth. Here we go. This one isn't a soft protector. This is my only chance right now. Hopefully it's big. My goal is maybe not lose much more than 50 bucks. Here we go, you ready? The back, oh, that's cool. The back says Mr. Miyagi. Okay, that's awesome. Freaking Mr. Miyagi. That's a lot of fun. I've actually have never had this pop before. I know the gentleman who played Mr. Miyagi is no longer with us. I actually am looking for his autograph like a JSA authenticated autograph from the gentleman who played at Mr. Miyagi, hopefully signed like a Karate Kid picture or something. I, I'm on the hunt for that for my own autograph collection. That's super cool though. 2015, six years old. It's actually in pretty good, pretty good shape. Nine out of 10 condition, pretty good shape. So let's see the PPG value. Hopefully I didn't lose much, but I think I probably, I, I won't be shocked if I lost hundred bucks right here. I won't be shocked if I lost a hundred bucks. Let's see some value. First pop, we got the witch from Snow White and the Seven Doors. This one's coming in. This was actually 47 bucks. That's not bad. Maybe it won't be as bad as what I thought it would be. This one's 47. Next, we got Alan Grant from Jurassic Park. This one's worth 35 bucks. Pop number three, Freddy Fish Boy is worth $32. There's different versions. The yellow pants, that's the right one, worth $32. So these first three pops were worth a total of 114 bucks. Actually worth more than I thought it was gonna be. This Mr. Miyagi, maybe it's worth like 70, 80, 90 bucks maybe? I don't know how much it's even worth. Let's find out. Last one, Mr. Miyagi, that's not bad. It's worth $95 PPG. And it's actually in like 9 out of 10 condition for a 6-year-old pop. 
this will probably sell over a hundred because the condition on it is really good. So grand total, 209. Okay, that's not bad. I still lost money, but it could have been a whole lot worse than 209. I only lost around 40 bucks, so under 20%. So yes, it wasn't a W, but in terms of the grand scheme of things, my loss could have been much, much worse than that. So I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm partially happy. <laughs> but anyway, that's the risk of mystery boxes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This time I lost. I lost money. That's the risk. That's the gamble. Only buy these if you understand that risk. Because if you just want to collect what you want to collect, just go out and buy what you actually want. Just buy what you want. Don't take the chance. But if you enjoy watching them, feel free to watch this YouTube channel. And you can sometimes see me lose money.